What is up, YouTube? It is your boy NMR Sports here, coming back at you with another MLB video. And today we're going to be talking about the five most underrated teams in all of baseball. These are teams if you can buy stock in, buy stock in them. If you can place a futures bet for them to make the playoffs, possibly go ahead and do it. They're going to have good playoff odds. Uh, just overall teams that I think are getting disrespected right now around the league. Uh, and just around Twitter, MLB, you know, ESPN talking shit on them, stuff like that. Uh, anyways, before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video and comment your five most underrated teams in baseball down below. And, uh, let's get right into the video. Start talking about it. Now, I do have one underrated team that uh, I can't really talk about without you guys calling me a homer, so I'm just going to go ahead and mention I think the Angels are underrated right now, but I'm going to keep it that way. I don't want to, you know... I don't want to. I don't want to get too excited. Every year I get too excited. I think we have a chance to win the division. I think we have a chance to make the playoffs, and I'm disappointed every year. So this year, you know what? I'm not going to talk much about it. They got a great bullpen. They got a decent rotation, better than last, uh, better than previous years for sure. And their lineup is rock, rock, rock solid with good depth in the minor leagues. So Angels honorable mention. Not going to talk about them though. Coming in at number five, I think the Yankees are slightly underrated right now. They're not like the most underrated team in baseball by any means but i do think they are slightly underrated right now uh they got a really 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 good bullpen they have a lot of options for their rotation obviously it's a little top heavy with garrett cole there right now uh but Nestor cortez had a great year last year i'm really high on davy garcia i think he could be solid for them uh luis gill or jill i honestly don't know how to pronounce it he's very solid as well uh, who's the other guy? Uh, Jordan Montgomery will be in there. He's decent. The only guy in this rotation that I really don't like is Jamison Tyone. I even think Luis Severino could have a big resurgence this year. So they got a really, uh, they have a better rotation than people think. Their bullpen is rock solid with Chapman back there. Uh, Clay Holmes was really good last year, especially in the postseason. Well, towards the end of the year, I guess they only had one postseason game. Chad Green's pretty decent. Uh, Jonathan Loisega is probably the most underrated reliever in all of baseball. Possibly the most underrated player in all of baseball. Dude is absolutely insane. Uh, so this bullpen is really, really good. Their rotation has potential to be pretty solid. And I think their lineup got better this offseason. Kyle Higashioka has had a great spot. Spring. I don't know if that's going to translate necessarily to this season, uh, but definitely he's going to be a solid bat back there and great defensively. I think that is going to be another underrated part of this team. I think Kyle Higashioka's defense could improve uh, the pitching staff because obviously having a good framing catcher, I think he's in the 90 something percentile in framing. Uh, definitely helps your pitching staff steal some strikes. So that's going to help a lot, especially with the young pitchers there. Josh Donaldson is a freak. One of my favorite guys, especially in fantasy baseball this year. I think he's going to have a monster year in that ballpark. Uh, definitely a very good guy to look out for. Isaiah kind of Falefa is going to help out their defense, not necessarily offensively, but the rest of their lineup is so stacked. They can afford to risk a little bit of offensive production for the stellar defense he's going to provide. DJ LeMayu hopefully has a better year this year. Anthony Rizzo, I think, is going to benefit to having a full season in the Bronx. Obviously, a very uh, hitter-friendly park for lefties. Uh, so I think Anthony Rizzo is going to get a lot of cheap home runs, maybe 30-plus this year one time. Glaber Torres, I'm very high on as well. You've seen he's had a monster spring training this year. I believe they got a new hitting coach, and I think that's going to help with Glaber's development. Obviously, I had a really disappointing season last year, but if he's even a fraction of the hitter he was in 2019, that's going to be a huge help for them. And their outfielder, they, they got a lot of options out there. Aaron Hicks hasn't been healthy in like five years. Aaron Judge, obviously a top five player in the game. Joey Gallo has potential, especially, like I said, left-handed hitter. They've got a really deep team. Giancarlo Stanton, obviously i didn't talk much about giancarlo stanton's a stud i think this team has potential to win the al east you heard that right i think they could win the al east i think they could win 100 plus games this is a very very good team and a lot better than last year it's really going to come down to health with this squad now coming in at number four we've got the detroit tigers the detroit tigers a very solid team up and down they got a lot better this offseason now i'm not gonna say they're not like the yankees i don't think they have potential to win 100 games i don't even think they have potential to make the playoffs per se but i do think they're getting completely overlooked in the in the you know just in the limelight this so far this year uh, Andrew Chafin was a huge addition to their bullpen. Their bullpen was their biggest weak spot last year. Their lineup wasn't great, but it was, you know, serviceable while their bullpen was just absolutely atrocious. 
So Andrew Chafin's going to be a very big addition to them. Tyler Alexander was a uh, pretty good in 2020, so he could have a bounce back year. Uh, who else they got? Greg Soto was really good. Tariq Skubal is going to be great in the rotation. Eduardo Rodriguez was a huge pickup. Pineda rounds out the rotation very nice. Casey Mize, former top prospect. Matt Manning, pretty solid. Spencer Turnbull, had I think he threw a no-hitter last year. They've got a really good underrated pitching staff i wouldn't call it one of the best in baseball for uh, by any means but still very good a very big improvement to last year and aj hinch man i'm so high on aj hinch that i think he's going to be absolutely phenomenal and coach this team to at least the top uh, at least a third place finish hopefully a second place finish uh in my opinion also their lineup is a lot better this year javi baez miggy gonna be probably doing a lot of dhing uh, Heimer Candelario, top 10 third baseman in baseball. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll link it above. Willie Castro, very solid. And then Jonathan Scope, definitely got some like 30 home run pop over there at second base. So going to be a very good year. I do think they're a little shallow on the outfield or in the outfield. But um, overall, I do think this is a very, very good squad. And I think they are being completely underrated right now. Coming in at number three, a team that is underrated every single year and then finds a way to get better every single year. That is the Tampa Bay Rays. I think we should be talking about the Tampa Bay Rays like they are a World Series favorite this year. They have so much young talent on top of their guys who were really good last year. Shane Baz, I think, could be a potential Cy Young candidate. I'm not going to call him 100% lock, but definitely a potential one. Jalen Beeks was great in their bullpen last year. Pete Fairbanks was really good in their bullpen. JP Fireisen was really good in their bullpen. Kittredge was good in their bullpen. They added Corey Kluber, and knowing the Rays, he's going to have a big resurgence this year uh, and hopefully can stay healthy this time around. Luis Patino acquired in the Blake Snell trade. He has has a potential to be really good this year. Shane McClanahan was really good as well as Shane Boz was last year. So this rotation and bullpen is going to be phenomenal. It's just going to come down to their hitting. And honestly, I think this is the best their offense has looked in a very long time. Mike Zanino, a top five catcher in baseball. That dude is a stud. 30 home run pop with one of the best framing uh, catchers in all of baseball. Francisco Mejia is a very good for a backup catcher, one of the best backup, probably the best backup catcher in all of baseball. Uh, Kurt Suzuki would like a word. G-Man Choi, stud. I don't even think he's going to start any games this year with Wander Franco, Yandy Diaz, Brandon Lau. Uh, I guess you mentioned would be their starting first baseman or DH, but then their outfield is stacked as well. Austin Meadows has some pop in that bat. Randy Rosarena. Uh, who else? Kevin Kiermeyer, obviously one of the best defensive outfielders in all of baseball. And they picked up some good pieces this offseason. Harold Ramirez being the best one there. I also think a guy to look out for on this team, Vidal Brujan, man. I think Vidal Brujan, if he gets an opportunity, he could be a very, very, very good addition to this Rays team and be a very big reason that they could make make it to the World Series again, and hopefully win it this time around. All right, so that is the number three most underrated team. Now we're getting into my two favorites, my two absolute sleepers. Everybody is fast asleep on these teams, and I don't know why. Let's go over them. Two is the Miami Marlins. The Miami Marlins are such a good team, bro. They're such a good team. Everybody's counting them out in the NL East because there's such a stacked uh, race at the top of the division between the Mets and the, uh, sorry, the Mets and the Braves. Obviously, the Phillies made some big moves this offseason, but the Marlins are easily the third best team in this division, man. I will die on this hill. You will all see Sandy Alcantara. Top three Cy Young finish, guaranteed. Lock it in right now. If he stays healthy, top three Cy Young voter, vote getter. Edward Cabrera, top prospect, absolutely amazing. Uh, what's his name? Jesus Lazardo, they got from the A's last season. Gonna be a stud, especially having him at the bottom of your rotation. Bro, can you imagine? Pablo Lopez, great year last year. Even guys like, uh, what's his name? Eliza Hernandez had a pretty decent year last year, and they still got Sixto Sanchez coming back eventually. Uh, Max Myers, a top prospect that they have. This rotation is going to be lights out, nasty, and their bullpen is, I think, a little underrated. Obviously, it's the weak spot of this team, uh, but they have some very, very, very good options back there. Dylan Floro's been decent in the past. Richard Blyer. Richard Blyer. I'm pretty sure Foolish Baseball did a video on Richard Blyer. This dude is one of the most underrated relievers in all of baseball. A 2.95 ERA last year to 2.16 ERA in 2020. Definitely an underrated part of their bullpen. And I think overall, they have enough young pitching to get it done on the pitching side. And their offense has gotten better this season. They traded for Jacob Stallings. That's going to be a huge addition behind the plate. I am a little upset they traded away Jorge Alfaro. I was really high on that guy. Uh, Brian Anderson, one of the more 
more underrated infielders in baseball. Joey Wendell's a big pickup who was big for the Rays the last couple of years. Jazz Chisholm is a stud. Absolute stud. Jazz Chisholm, beast. Jesus Aguilar got a pretty good power bat over there. And then their big additions, Jorge Soler and Avisal Garcia, I think is going to make this a, a much, much more complete lineup and a lineup that can definitely put up some runs behind that stellar pitching staff. Don't be surprised if this team is definitely in the playoff hunt come September. And uh, I don't think their ceiling is necessarily winning the division, but I could definitely see them, you know, maybe with a couple injuries to some other teams getting in that second place spot in the NL East. So I'm very, very high on the Marlins and I think you should be too that's why i have him as my number two most underrated team in all of baseball but coming in at number one your national league west division champions division champions two years in a row that is the san francisco giants i cannot believe the disrespect i'm seeing for this team that won what 106 108 games last year something like that they got better they got better they lost one big piece it was uh obviously buster posey retired Outside of that, I really think they got better. Their bullpen is phenomenal. It is lights out. I am super high on their bullpen. Their rotation is one of the deepest in all of baseball. Radon is a stud. Logan Webb, absolute stud. Camilo Doval is going to be a great closer for them this year. Harlan Garcia was underrated for them last year. Alex Cobb is going to do so well in this ballpark, man. And he's going to be their number like three or four. Anthony DeSlafani in there, their rotation is so good and their bullpen is so good. I just, oh my God. And then their lineup, this is a run scoring lineup right here. Joey Bart, former top prospect. Kirk Casale, definitely serviceable as a backup. Brandon Belt's going to hit a ton of home runs this year. Brandon Crawford's going to be phenomenal. Uh, Wilmer Flores and Tommy LaStella, very good against lefties, very good against righties. Evan Longoria is a stud. This infield is amazing, and then their outfield's definitely gotten better. Jock Peterson, Darren Ruff was really, really good last year. Lamont Wade, late night Lamont. Uh, Mike Yastrzemski, obviously a very, very good right fielder. This is just a really, really good, really, really complete team, and I just don't understand why people are calling them a third place team. I think this is definitely the team to beat in the West right now. The Dodgers obviously have a great roster on paper. They have some big names out there and Freddie Freeman, Mookie Betts, Clayton Kershaw, but this is the most complete team in the National League West. They are going to win the West. They are the team to beat as of right now, barring any major injuries. So I don't know. I think they're easily the team to beat in the West. Apparently, nobody else thinks that way. So anyways, let me know down in the comments below who you think is the most underrated team in baseball. For me, it is the uh, San Francisco Giants by far. They're getting way too much disrespect after the year they had last year. If you like MLB content, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have daily uploads all year this season. That's a guarantee. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.